Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the first week of July. Generally my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> Oh, Page of Pentacles. This is about acting with integrity, doing the right thing. This page has focus, backbone, and integrity. This could be you needing to do that, or you could be dealing with somebody. It could be a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is the page of, of integrity, okay? Doing the right thing. Somebody has been, oh, God, deceiving themselves. Somebody has been deceiving themselves, not, not um, accepting the truth of a situation. There's been some trickery. There's been some lies. There's been some deception. Or this is you or another person. Okay, that could be another person as well. The Nine of Cups reversed. There's lack of happiness and wish fulfillment here. Pride could be in the way. Somebody may want to have a relationship with you and you are being called to have, give them a chance, but you're not. You're not focused on the future. You're still living in the past. Lies. The Eight of Swords reversed is lies. And this is lies as well. There's lies here. You need to remove these obstacles and step outside of your comfort zone. Somebody is, is refusing to step outside of their comfort zone. Not willing to work on it. Not willing to invest. Not willing to put any effort into something that would bring them wish fulfillment. Not using the resources, the tools that they could use to bring success. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, very pessimistic. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. All right. We're going to zoom this in. There's that uh, queen of pentacles who's been haunting you. Okay. We got a queen of pentacles here. She shows up in every single reading. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, she's the outcome. This is the outcome. There's hope. This is wish fulfillment. Is somebody lying to themselves about the situation? I mean, I don't know what else to say. This is renewed. This is a renewal. So this could be renewed hope. But very pessimistic about this renewal of this hope. You know... Lack confidence in that. I don't, I don't have confidence in this person. So apparently you don't have confidence in this person. About moving forward in that direction. Maybe it's this person that wants to have a relationship with you. Or you want to have a relationship with them. But somebody's too pessimistic about it. The challenge. Is moving on. Somebody hasn't been able to move on. This is the challenge. Unable to accept any new offers or invitations of some sort. Other people see that you're trapped. Other people see that you're uncomfortable. Other people see that somebody is lying because the Eight of Swords reversed is lies. That's how other people see. This is in this position is how other people see you. Okay, in every single reading, whether I do it for Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, whatever, this position is how other people see you. Other people see that you're lying to yourself. They see that. Because somebody needs to find their backbone, their morals to perhaps apologize. Because that's what morals and, you know, whatever. I'm not going to go into detail, but there's an opportunity for a renewal here. 
that could lead to a lot of happiness and wish fulfillment. But the overall outcome of this whole reading is the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is not putting in effort. They're not. You're not putting in effort. You're not making. You're not doing something about it. Not working on it because it's uncomfortable. Eights are power. Eights are the time is now. These are both reverse. Somebody isn't isn't finding their power to take action. Advice, advice for Pisces for this week. What will the outcome be as well? Okay. Advice. <laughs> We have the devil. Okay, we have the devil card. <laughs> Advice. This is a soulmate connection. It, it could even be, I hate to say the word, twin flame. I hate to say the word, but at this point, I don't even know what to say. So, um, this is like an undeniable attraction that is... something that you are bound to it's a it's a, it's a it's an earth sign and it's a soulmate because this right here when you get to the king and queen of any I say okay we got the king and queen of pentacles here this is a soulmate connection for you because it's in your reading there's a soulmate, um, almost like twin flame. I'm sorry, I hate to say the word. I really do, but it's undeniable. It's unmistakable. It's not something, it's karmic. You can't break away from it. And you can't, it's, The challenge is moving on from this soulmate connection. That's your challenge. But you're very pessimistic about giving it another shot, about renewing it. But that's where your wish fulfillment lies. Stubborn. Stubborn as hell. You need to face your fears. There could be addictions getting in the way. Somebody could be masking their true feelings with addictions. That's what the devil is, addictions. What is this wish fulfillment over here? This happiness this hope of new love, of a revival of love, of, of, an, of an acceptance. I'm wishing that this could work out. Because right now I'm not happy. There's a lack of happiness. I'm really discontent with where we're at right now. And I really have good intentions for this relationship. I really have a lot of love to offer. And this is you. I'm, when I'm talking, I'm saying that's why you're you're coming across. You have good intentions. You want to make this work, whatever it is. But you have fears. You have fears of it working out with that page of wands reversed. Somebody may feel like they're the victim here. Whoever the one is the being the most stubborn feels like they're a victim. This is victim mentality and this is stubbornness, stubbornness hell. But I see that you have really good intentions, whatever this is. Your intuition is guiding you. Okay, there's a there's a divine connection here. You're being called to trust your intuition. You've been, you've been holding this in for quite some time, being silent about your true feelings. And it's time to reveal your true feelings, Pisces. It's time. This is, this is it, okay? This script has already been written. I feel like this is a soulmate connection that, for some reason, it can't be broken. I don't know what the hell it is. Um, it's, this is part of the script. The High Priestess is part of the script. Okay, we have you, the script. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I don't know who this earth sign is. But somebody isn't investing. And somebody's losing patience. 
Somebody's losing patience, waiting. Giving up on the situation. Trust me, they are. Because they just want to be happy. And maybe you need to do that too. This is about no longer wanting to prove yourself. You know what? I just want to be happy. I'm sick of waiting. Time's a wasted. There's a lot of dissatisfaction where you're at right now. And it's no longer about proving yourself. It's about being happy. That's what this says reversed. Let go of your ego. That's what this says reversed. Let go of your ego. It's about happiness at this point. With this twin flame. Her soulmate, whatever you want to call it. There's an opportunity for a new beginning after something that had ended that could be very solid, stable, and secure. And this is a gift from above. A new opportunity, something you've been working on manifesting through your thoughts. And it ain't going away until somebody takes action. This is a new beginning, a rebirth. There's an opportunity for a rebirth here. There's a lot of passion, growth to be had. There's a new beginning. There's a new beginning that leads to something stable, solid, long-term, passionate, fulfilling, happy, exciting, and committed. But somebody has to take the lead. The emperor is the leader. He takes the lead. You need to take the lead, Pisces. You need to take the lead. You need to get out of your head. Stop worrying about it and, and take that step. It's backbone. Apology. Whatever this is. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here, Pisces. It could be with an Aries. could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. could be with a Gemini. could be with any sign. Just saying. That page of wands. Uh, yeah, that page of wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Any sign. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. Um, a restart. If you could restore your hope and, and your faith in the situation and take the lead. You have to take the lead. That is advice. You take the lead. The emperor is the boss. He takes the lead. He's the leader. I don't know if I zoomed this in. Yeah, I guess I did. Okay, what about this outcome? Queen of Pentacles down here. This outcome. What the heck is this? Your intuition is saying something about this person. Your intuition. You could have been dreaming about this person. Keeping secrets from this person. But you know how you feel about this person. Trust me, you know. But lying about it. Somebody's lying. And I don't think it's... This person's loyal. The Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, she's the most loyal of all signs. If you were to look it up, loyalty is in the top four words. Very loyal. She ain't lying. About nothing. She's not... She's not... Maybe somebody's afraid to be sick, afraid to give up their independence here. You know, I'd have to give up my independence. That's a scary thought, isn't it? 
upright. She's the independent woman. Again, she's she's this this woman right here. <laughs> she is. So you maybe you're afraid to give up your independence and commit to this person, man or woman. Thinking about going back. But boy, that heart aches, doesn't it? That heart is nothing but an aching. There's a lot of heartache here. Because somebody is afraid to step outside of their comfort zone. And fulfill their wishes, fulfill their heart. The next card is the Nine of Cups. And you see the Eight of Cups and Nine of Cups are both reversed. Somebody has to take steps. Head back. I don't know what this is to find wish fulfillment. I don't know what the hell this is. Isn't there new love for Pisces? Come on now. There should be some new love. We're ready for new love. Pisces looking for new love, right? They don't want no reconciliation. They don't want a reconciliation. They hate that son of a bitch. Right? Or is that a lie? Is that a lie? time to let go of these fears it's time to let go of these regrets it's time to let go of this depressive state that you've been in that's been hurting you and holding you back you need to fight for what you want you need to fight for it unless you want to be dissatisfied for the rest of your life or have regrets indecisive you need to stand up for yourself. You need to speak up and look at things from a new perspective. You need to be assertive, Pisces. You need to be assertive. And you need to move fast. This is a fast moving queen. All you have to do is take that next step find your power and if you do whatever this is is an opportunity for happiness happily ever after stability security abundance prosperity family but you have to speak up and you have to take the lead speak up is right here lead because she don't keep her mouth shut ever um, down here is the emperor that's take the lead you need to speak up right away get on that horse or get in your freaking car and get your ass in gear because somebody needs to take action right now have no fear Oh, that was just on the bottom when I looked. Just like that, too. This right here, Five of Wands, reverse. This is reluctance. Reluctance to move forward. But if you do, it will bring you instant relief. It will bring you relief. But somebody lacks the courage and the confidence and the strength. Weak, cowardly. Think of the lion and the Wizard of Oz. You know, the cowardly, it's reversed. If somebody is, is, is acting cowardly. It's time to make that decision. This seven of seven of, of, of cups is the decision needs to be made. Now I'm gonna flip this around right here. A lot of people, Taurus, I think, had this, Virgo had it, Capricorn had it. Um so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this right here, the seven of cups. You see his hand, he's saying, Hold up, hold up. Think about this for a second. Are you making the right choice? Are you making the right choice? Because there'll be consequences. This is a card of consequences. There's love. And the, the cups are love. There's stuff in the cups. You can only choose one. Hold up. Which one do you want? Do you want the stuff? Do you want the status quo? Do you want to prove yourself to the universe, the world, whatever? Or do you want love? Because you, you better be thinking about this because there's consequences for your action. Be careful for what you own owns you. You're, this is some sort of confusion in regards to a decision that needs to be made upright. This is when the decision is made. 
it's time for you to to take action have no fear make that decision even though you're reluctant Ooh, oh, we're going to do this Queen of Pentacles right here. We want, we want, to, we want to clarify her. Okay, what's this outcome with the Queen of Pentacles? What's going to happen with her or him? Ooh, sneaky, shady behavior. Getting caught. This this person, she wants to know the goddamn truth. Lack of appreciation. Karma. Yeah, it's freaking karma. You bet your ass it is. Sorry, you guys. It is. It's karma. This is judgment call. This is judgment day. This is forgiveness as well. Forgiveness is needed in regards to this shady, sneaky behavior. Can she forgive this, this sneaky, shady behavior? Maybe there was a third-party situation. I don't know. I said, what's the outcome? There's a judgment call that is going to be made. This is about forgiveness is needed. Can she forgive? Maybe, was there another person, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius? I think there probably was. Doesn't matter who the sign was. There probably was. Forgiveness is needed. Whether she can forgive or not, you know, she's, she's, uh, she's beautiful. She don't need to chase people. She ain't going to chase you. You have to chase her. This, this Empress card, card is this woman right here. She is a woman who walks in purpose. So she doesn't have to chase people or opportunities because she's glowing She's beautiful. She is the goddess of love. She is ruled by Venus, which is, is the planet of love. So she doesn't have to chase people or opportunities because her, she is, her light is so uh, bright that people chase her. Taurus or Libra. So she, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if, if she will forgive. Um... There's somebody from your past that you are holding on to. Somebody from the past that you are holding on to. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody could be holding on to you. That could you could go that way as well. There's an opportunity to restore balance if you can, you know, it, it, a relationship takes equal give and take. Stubborn? It's not about being stubborn. It's not. It's about giving. You have to give in once in a while. Justice. This is karma. Karma written all over this reading. It is. It's all about karma. This reading. It's about justice being served. It's about doing the right thing. It's about acting with integrity. That's what this is. Honesty. Being honest with yourself. So that you can bring balance. This is a card of balance. This is a card of balance. Do so you want to bring balance back to your life? You've got to stop being so stubborn. and You've got to take the lead. I don't know what the hell, who this is for. It will not resonate with every single person. Whew. Oh, well, I already told you that, didn't I? Ugh. I've known this anyway. And I think you do too. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. There's absolutely no doubt about it. I feel like this is a twin flame connection. That the, the probably the the and I hate to use this. I really do. I think the runner has been running and been in denial, and um, now he's probably starting to realize where his heart lies. And it was a bunch of lies. There's a whole lot of chemistry here. There's a strong magnetic attraction. This this is. 
undeniable and you can try to deny it until you are blue in the face and just about dead but when that judgment day comes it will be faced this karma will be dealt with in another lifetime if you don't deal with it in this one you've known each other before in a past life you have i know it and it and this is judgment day i'm telling you what if, if you don't deal with it now you will be going through this again So that's my advice, Pisces. You know, I can't change it. I'm telling you, I wish that I could. I've been trying to change it. I swear to God, I have. But you can't change what's meant to be. Even though I would, I, I, I seriously, you know, if I could change this reading, I would. But I can't. And neither can you. Talk to you later.